17 years ago, it found Joe Valachi, a mafia member who took the stand and told all he knew. That was the first time that ever happened, and the last. In more recent years, the committee is accused of having lost interest, of putting on media events without substance, while the staff, with no work to do, drifts away. Here's Brian Ross. This is Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, a town of 500. And this is the chief of police in Harper's Ferry, William Gallinero, who finds things pretty quiet here. Mr. Gallinero. But it hasn't always been so quiet for Gallinero. This was Gallinero testifying last October. For years, Gallinero was the resident expert on organized crime for the Senate, the investigator behind the scenes, the man who did all the legwork. But last year, Gallinero quit the Senate staff, saying the Senate was losing interest in investigating the mob, and he was getting tired of sitting around doing nothing. So you're being paid to be an investigator for subcommittee of the United States Senate. And for a year, a year and a half, you sat in your office and did very little. Correct. I was beginning to feel a little guilt every time they gave me my paycheck. Because I like to work. I'm dedicated to investigating organized crime figures. I've been doing it all my life. This is where Gallinero used to work. The office of the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. The Senate's supposed watchdog in organized crime. In the last few months, at least three key staff investigators have quit. Others who remain say they do only busy work. And the chief counsel of the subcommittee admits he doesn't know much about organized crime. Mr. Malone, before you were hired as chief counsel for this committee, what was your experience in working on problems of organized crime? Well, on organized crime, I had very little experience working in the organized crime area. Last year, the subcommittee held hearings on organized crime in Florida, which ended with the investigators investigating one another. The principal witness, a mafia enforcer by the name of Gary Bodak, who testified with his back to the camera. Former staff investigators now say the hearings were a publicity stunt, that little was done to check out Bodak's testimony ahead of time, and that senators and subcommittee staff were fighting up to the last minute over what to let Bodak say. One of the men who benefited from all the maneuvering was Florida Mafia boss Santo Traficanti. Traficanti was, at first, a principal target of the Senate investigators. He was even subpoenaed to testify. But he was let off the hook. The chief counsel and the investigators got into a fight over what to ask Traficanti, and Traficanti never had to testify. And the subcommittee's peculiar behavior has infuriated some law enforcement authorities in Florida. Dade County Detective Lloyd Huff and his partner were asked by one Senate investigator to prepare an intelligence report on the mob in Florida for the subcommittee in a hurry, only to have the subcommittee's chief counsel tell them no one in Washington was interested in their report. What's in there that would have been important for the committee? Uh, identified members, uh, non-member associates, uh, photographs, uh, things of that nature. Of organized crime figures operating in the Florida area. That's correct, and along the East Coast. And you were told none of that could go before the committee. That's right. This kind of David Vienna quit the subcommittee staff oh, after the Florida hearings. If I had stayed there much longer, I would have become one of the uh, subjects of something that should have been investigated uh, by myself. Or I would have been wasting the taxpayers' money to take it. To take your salary? Sure. Why? I wasn't doing anything. There was, there was very, very little uh, to be done. The subcommittee is in trouble. But Senator Sam Nunn of Georgia, the chairman of the subcommittee, refused to talk about it on camera with NBC News. All Nunn says is that he has full confidence in his staff. What's left of it? Uh, Joseph Velasquez. Since 1961, the subcommittee has had the job of monitoring organized crime for the United States Senate. The testimony of Mafia member Joe Valachi before the subcommittee provided much of what is known about organized crime in this country. You live by the gun and by the knife, and you die by the gun and by the knife. But this was 17 years ago, and now, for some reason, the subcommittee seems to have lost much of its interest in organized crime. And whatever the reason, it's good news for the mob. Brian Ross, NBC News, Washington.